everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lori and I, it's like something went down this morning and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be the topic. And that's going to be not getting married to a plan A. Can I just tell you, so this morning I get up and you know, I had all my stuff laid out because you know, I was like, okay, it's Friday. I'm going to go to the gym, had my stuff laid out like I always do. Well, in the car is where I usually have my workout gloves and I always have my AirPods in my bag. Like it's just, so I know I don't really have to check for that or so I think <laughs> now I know better. Uh, so get up, go downstairs. I'm already a little bit later than normal, 10, 15 minutes. It was fine. But I was like, okay, so I get in the car and I'm like, oh, I forgot my AirPods. Cause I looked, I couldn't find them in my bag. I'm like, that's weird. Like I don't, I always put them there, right? They always need to have a place, especially when you have ADHD cause your ADHD brain will just throw things down. So I always have a space and I'm looking and I'm looking and I cannot find it. So now time's creeping on and I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I'll go in, I'll get my headset, got my headset, come out. And I'm like, where are my gloves? Like my gloves are always in the car. I, I still haven't looked for them. I think they're in a jacket that I wore to the gym like earlier in the week, but I literally am like, they're not here. Luckily it was like day and shoulders, but I like to have my gloves on just part of my routine and ritual. And there was like all these little things that kept like coming up. I, I didn't know where the key was. I didn't know where this was. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like usually it is kind of one of those things that, you know, a lot of people might get sidelined from. It sounds so silly because it's just, that's just a gym routine, but it could be anything. And I was like, well, and I don't get upset. I was just like, okay, well, I'll look for, I had a headset. I mean, I like to have like podcast or audibles going while I'm working out or music. And so I know that that was important. And I was like, well, I can find the gloves. It's all good, right? And I wanted to do this video so I could say to you, now, things are not always going to work as planned, baby. It is not always going to work as planned, but you still power through it. Because if you only have a plan A, of course, now I know in my brain, I'm like, ooh, I got to make sure I know that these things are there, right? Going forward, right? And so I feel like this was a good one for you because I was like, you know what? When you get in your headspace and you are committed to a plan, sometimes things aren't going to go accordingly. Sometimes they're not. And it's going to be easy to railroad you if you let it. If you allow yourself to get pulled off course because you're married to this one way of doing it, then you're gonna get pulled off course a lot. It's gonna feel overwhelming. So you can never, you can plan for plan A all you want, but not always is plan A gonna work. There's like so many other letters, A, B, C, D, all the way down to Z, right? So if it doesn't work, you just have to pivot. See, the problem is, is that you throw in the towel, you throw, it's, there's an old saying, say you throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of thing. So it's like, if you're like, okay, well, this is my plan. Oh, I deviated out of my plan for like this much. And then all of a sudden you're like, fine, never mind. I'll start that diet on Monday. I'll redo this next week because it's easy to give into it. But when you get clear and accepting that things are not always going to be on your time, it's not always going to be on your schedule. It isn't always going to be what you want it to be and how you want it to be is now my whole situation was just me not being able to find stuff but sometimes that's nothing like that's easy you can totally overcome that you just do it anyway and you do it anyway regardless but when you're dealing with other humans if you're like okay this is my plan yeah that's your plan that doesn't mean it's anybody else's plan and they're not on your time so just because something doesn't go the way you want it to or how fast as you want it to because that's always going to be a thing. You want to rush the process. That is not okay. That is not a thing. So I want you to be very clear in that because it's important that you understand that you're allowed your disappointment. You're allowed your sadness. By the way, they're going to happen. Not might, not could, they will. Not everything is going to go great or there's not, you know, there's great in every day but every day isn't going to be like top of the chain, right? And when you're dealing with other people, they might be on a different timeline than you. They may have a different goal than you, and that's fine. So your rush of urgency may not be everybody else's rush of urgency, and that's fine. But you can't let your plan A, when it goes awry, and it will, not always, but it will. You can't allow that to be like, fine, well, I just screwed up then. I'm just not going to do it. Well, why? You pivot. See, you're in control of that. You are in control of your mindset, period. Your mindset, no one can take your mindset from you, but you, no one, right? Like no one can do that. So if you're just going to get irritated because things didn't go exactly as planned, because that's if you're a control freak, that's your ego, 
your ego says, wait, this didn't go as, as it would. Now I'm in chaos. Well, yeah, but that's okay. It's called a pivot point. Pivot, not stop. It's a redirect. That's all a pivot is. You're like, oh, that doesn't work that way. I'm going to pivot in this direction. But you have to be committed to, to doing it. Guess what? You don't always need to know how things are going to work out. Facts. See, you, you want it to work a certain way because you're in control in your mind. You're in control of that. You're not. That's a silly narrative to think that you're in control of anything other than your, your response, your reaction, and your mindset. That's it. Nothing else on this planet are you in control of. When you radically accept that and you accept it and you move forward, then you understand things aren't always going to go as planned. You know, earlier this, well, yesterday, I got it fixed. So I'll say earlier this month, it was like last week like middle of last week, I get in the car and my little car was like, hey, your front tire's at like 21 PSI and everything else is at 31. And I was like, ah, no big deal. It's winter, whatever. We have a compressor, put air in it. It was fine. Light went away. Next day it came on. Oh, now you're down to this amount. I'm like, what is wrong? I obviously have a slow leak. So I called this local spot by me and they're like, yeah, well, we can get you in Tuesday. I was like, ah, it's not going to work on my schedule. I'll come in on Thursday, right? So it's a good week and a half out. I'm just going to keep putting air in it. Yes, it's an inconvenience. Yes, it's annoying. But I thought I was going to have to spend $300, $400 on a tire, right? Turns out it was a nail. Found this out yesterday. It was in a space where they could plug it, 35 bucks. But I was committed to doing the new tire if I needed to because it's out of my control. Was it an inconvenience? Yes. Was it money I didn't want to spend? Sure. But what choice do you have? If you're constantly complaining and trying to be like, well, this never works, when using these big catastrophic words of always and never and need to and have to and should, well, guess what? Your plan A is never going to allow you to pivot because you swear that it's the one thing that you have control over. You don't, right? So you, you can plan for plan A, but be open to plan B through Z. And no, you don't have to map them out. Stop trying to control everything. Stop trying to know the outcome of everything. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So you have to be clear that when things happen, you have two choices. You can either succumb to it and you're allowed to be disappointed. You're allowed to be frustrated. I mean, hell, it's okay not to be okay. But don't live there because then you're going to go into victim mentality. You know, and then you use these big words like always and catastrophically like never, you know, like all of these things. You can do it. Allow yourself to go backwards. Sometimes I'll, I'll use it like when I do crochet. I have spent hours on a blanket before. Hours. And like, uh, this was early on. But even now, like, you know, when you crochet or knit or anything like that, you're going to still mess up from time to time. And I've literally looked and thought, oh my God, like I missed this whole section. And I've had to totally undo it all. Hours worth of work. So what? I could go, I'm so mad that I did that. Why? Why? That's energy that you don't need to spend, right? So I just went back and redid it. It's all good. Those things are going to happen. The way that it's going to make it easier is for you to wrap your brain around it within that mindset. You have to allow yourself to be open to things just not going how you wanted it to. And again, people aren't on your time. Things aren't, they're not in that same sense of urgency as though you may have. So by all means, plan. Love that. But also remember, you planning, you better have a good why. Why do you want to plan that? Why do you need that? Why do you want that? And then what are your steps to get there? I don't care what that end goal is. I don't care what your end goal is. That's irrelevant to me. What steps are you going to do to take there? It's the same thing with the, if manifestation. You know, I'm a manifestation, uh, like a meditation and um, mindful expert. And, and manifestations is one of them. Do I manifest everything that I would like to have? No, because I have to work for it. Manifestations isn't just throwing some stuff on a vision board and just uh, falling from the sky. It has to be attainable and it has to be work. So you don't put the idea of what you want on a vision board. What are the steps you're going to take to get there? What are those baby steps? What are those micro goals? If you're not willing to do that mundane work, then you're never going to be flexible to pivot. But pivoting is so important. It's probably one of the importantest, importantest importantness, not a word. Don't follow me for English. Um, some of the most important, one of the most important things you can do because you got to redirect. If you're just going to give up, then no one's going to, like no one cares if you're giving up on your dreams, by the way. No one's upset with you. You start self-loathing. No one's upset with you because you're like, like telling yourself how horrible of a human you are. Nobody cares. 
That's what you're doing to yourself. And you have that same power to turn that and flip that into something that's going to be productive for you. Okay, if it's not working, change it. Find the solution. Redo it. Redirect. Plan A is great, but stop living your life only in plan A.